Hi, my name is Leia. I've had a huge crush on a guy in my office. We were in the same department, but I was very shy and couldn't confess my feelings. Whenever he was around, I would blush and couldn't talk. He obviously thought I was an idiot. My work friends always pushed me to talk to him. So one day, I mustered up the courage to say hi. But as soon as I was walking towards him, my heart started pounding really hard. My mind went blank. I didn't even know what to say, so I just ran back to my table and hid under it. My friends took me out and decided that we needed a plan. I was going to talk to him about our mutual interests. After a while, we all figured out that this plan was useless because we literally had nothing in common. I didn't know anything about sports. Was not a fan of gym. He liked eating healthy, and I was a fan of burgers. Plus, he liked coffee, and I hated it. Everyone knows I am a tea girl. Since I couldn't think of anything else, I decided to forego my hate for coffee and have it with him in our break room. The next day, when he was preparing coffee for himself, I went over and said hi. He smiled and said hello. This was it. I had to flirt with him. So I asked that the coffee he made looked good, and maybe he could share the recipe with me. As soon as I blurted out the words, I regretted it. He looked at his black coffee and laughed and said, "Sure, just add coffee into water." I felt so embarrassed. I made a fool out of myself. I said thanks and left. The next day, when I entered my department room, he waved at me, and because of that wave, I decided that this was going to be the best day ever. I forgot about my embarrassing moment and was anxiously waiting for break. It finally struck one, and I rushed into the coffee room. This day, he had two cups of black coffee. He said that he was waiting for me. My heart melted. We started talking about different people in our office, and then decided to meet during break time the next day. I went home, and I couldn't stop smiling. Who knew that I would love going to the office this much? Days went by, and we kept on meeting for an hour every day for a cup of coffee at the break room. I would even catch him looking at me while we were working. He was a funny man, and I loved his company. I decided to finally ask him out on a real date. I thought I would ask him out, and he would say that he would love to, and I will have my happy ever after. But unfortunately, it didn't go as planned. I asked him if he wanted to go on an actual date, and he didn't reply. I mean, why do all the embarrassing things happen to me? I said it is okay if you don't want to, and told him that I have got a lot of work to do, so we'll talk to him later. I finished work. Avoided eye contact with him and left for home. I wanted to quit my job so that I could recover from the embarrassment. He called me, but I didn't reply. I felt like a loser in that moment. Later that night, while I was reliving the moment over and over again and tormenting myself, I heard my doorbell ring. It was him again with two cups of coffee in his hands. He apologized for the way he reacted and asked me if he could come in and explain. I allowed him to come in, but still had trouble making eye contact. He said that he had a crush on me for a very long time as well. It is just that he never thought someone like me would ever like him. So when I asked him out, he was stunned. He said that he wanted to start fresh and would love to go out on a date. I finally looked at him and smiled. I told him that I would go if I don't have to drink another cup of coffee. He looked confused. I told him that I only drank coffee in order to talk to him. Otherwise, I hate it. He laughed and told me that the first day when I complimented his black coffee, it was the first time he tried it and hated the taste. He loved latte. The only reason he drank it every day was because he thought I liked it. We both laughed and finally found something in common. We both would go out of our way to make the other person happy.